grant management best practices using grant management software. Tempest Gems is a web-based system, and I'm gonna do a five-minute demo in about six minutes. My name is Christina Moore. I'm a member of a disaster relief grant management team that built Tempest Gems to help others through this process. We have responded to natural disasters since 2012 as experts in grant management best practices using grant management software. We're here to help you rebuild better. We are coaching you on grant management best practices using grant management software. If you appreciate this presentation, please subscribe and share via email or social media. So here I am showing the dashboard. We've got a FEMA public assistance grant here. We can do a number of grants. I'm showing where the reimbursement levels are. We've got six grants and we seem to be still owed about a half million dollars, $611,000. There are six subgrants within this, a couple of category B's and C's, smalls and larges. Over the years, we've spent some money, we've had some reimbursements in the green and the cash flow has been poor and then recently improving and the goal the goal is to bring the blue line to the zero line. That'll mean that we've got as much reimbursement as we can get. So eventually what we want is we want expenses and revenue to be as equal as possible. So I'm going to jump into a single grant. I'm going to drill in. And here I am looking at the individual subgrants for FEMA. I'm going to take an edit on Green River Road. This application form, which FEMA calls the 9091, is laid out to replicate their paper version. When we're working with grants other than FEMA public assistance, we just change this screen to match those grant types. Just taking a quick tour sideways through the grant application to show that we've picked up most of their fields or all of their fields plus some of our own. Every single piece of data that is in this system is tracked. Who did it when it was done? Our goal is to provide good, clear feedback to people with scorecards throughout the system. You know, green checks are good, X's are bad. And we also want to give you solid financial feedback. Where are you? How are you doing on your reimbursements? How are you doing on your document gathering? Most grants have an estimate portion so we let you build and replicate what that estimate looks like, your cost budget. Tempest Gems becomes the central repository for grant documents. Grant documents have a history when they've been reviewed. When they've been reviewed by the state, they get locked. We inform you how big the document is. We describe it and we allow you to edit them the one I'm opening here will be locked, so it is opening in read-only fashion. Financial transactions should look a lot like a bank book. How much have we spent? Where's our balance? Some of these um, transactions will be locked because they've been reviewed. I'm going to edit a standard invoice. The middle of this thing should look like any number of accounting systems who the vendor is, invoice number, how much the thing was worth, how much was reimbursed, was the expense eligible? This is where we differ from um, financial systems. Is there insurance? And here I am just simply showing that fields have help on them. Because most grants are reimbursement based, we need the paid date and we support the financial transaction with the invoice and proof of payment. I'm going to take a look at a force account or a labor-based record. There's two hours of picking up yellow dots, a reference to an earlier video. There's an employee here. The employee is working overtime. We can select the rate and we can see that for this two hour thing, the person did this and was on this vehicle with that amount for an entire value of $141.44. We can attach documents to it. Just a quick look, we've been adding some richness to our data entry process with more guideposts and the idea was pave the yellow brick road. So we've been adding wizards to help folks. Contracts, we wanna help people stay in line with contracts. 
So we've created a subsystem within the system where we track contracts specifically, and then we score contract compliance against procurement standards. So here we are looking at a specific contract and comparing it to 2 CFR 200. Four documents out of 11. Hmm. And here are those documents in isolation. If there's more documents, you would click the green upload button. We use documents also to look at a virtual binder. These are the documents that the grantee expects. And here's where you are on that. And the goal is to change zeros to ones to improve your score. The as is report becomes like a cover sheet or a table of contents and you can download your documents either in PDF or zip pretty much at any time that you need. When we work with a grant program such as Famous Public Assistance, we build out the reports. These are pretty straightforward. They come out in PDF. And now I'm just going to take a quick look at the um, applicant. One of the things to note is that we have some missing data there. I've squiggled out the applicant names and we're going to go take a look at one applicant. We do not store PII, the inf you know personal information, no social security numbers, no addresses, but we do have unlimited pay rates. Did you find this helpful? Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of upcoming episodes.